I recently finished a series about building intranets and um, next up I'd like to work through a couple of uh, things that I think um, your contributors should know. So this little series will be all about um, empowering your intranet contributors to be able to upload content and make sure that things stay up to date. So today's uh, first little um, part of the series, we're going to just be looking at uh, the SharePoint pages and the publishing of the pages so that we're all on the same page, <laughs> excuse the pun, of understanding how this works and the importance around this. So your intranet might consist of multiple pages. Now, um, this training content is based on generic out-of-the-box um, SharePoint online sites, and uh, it's actually based on communication site templates. And um, you might have different web parts on the pages, etc. but the concept stays exactly the same. So as mentioned, first thing I want to focus on is the physical pages that the site uses. So this, of course, is my home page, right? And on the home page is where I have various web parts that's used to surface content for the employees to use. If I go to the settings wheel and I go to site contents, um, you'll notice that there's a library called site pages. The library site pages is where all the pages for this intranet is stored. So um, very similar to a document library actually, but there you'll see I've got different pages for, um, <laughs> I definitely was messing around there. I've got different pages for the different departments and I've also got pages for news um, articles and we're going to definitely cover that as well. So the first thing I always do is that I check my site pages um, library to see that something's not checked out to me. You can see there's a little green arrow there and it actually says that this document's checked out to Tracy, which means that I haven't published that page. This might be a test page that I built, but always ensure that your pages are published and checked back in. When a page is checked out like that, it means that it's still in edit mode and the employees can't see your latest updates. So always, always, always take note of that to make sure that your pages are checked back in before you actually leave whatever it is that you were busy with doing. So when I go back to the home page, you'll see that uh, because of your contribution right on this intranet, you'll have a button here on the right hand side that says edit page. So when you see edit page, you'll know that you have contribution rights. So normal um, end users that has read access will not see this. It'll also tell me when it was published last. So when it doesn't say edit, if it actually says publish, it means the page is um, um, checked out to you, if that makes sense. So there you can see the publish um, block shows and it also shows little um, dotted lines around the web parts, which means that this page is in edit mode now. So to make changes to this, of course, um, you'll see that there's different zones, and I just call them zones, those columns that the web parts fit into, and these are the web parts, of course. And um, so to make any changes here, and only some of the web parts you'll make changes in this mode, of course, is that you can then go here and say, I want to add more page contacts here, for example, and I can say, please add Brahm as well, um, or something. And I can also, if I'm in edit mode, I can add any of the images um, that's used for my Euro web part. So of course, yeah, I can just go and say, I want to edit that, and I want to change the image that this points to, or I want to change the name of that block, or I want to change the link that it goes to. So um, this is a very easily just how to put this page into um, edit mode. You'll see at the top there on the left, it says save and close, and then it also says discard changes. So this also, you might have made a change, and you're actually thinking, no, maybe that's not a good idea. I'm rather going to discard those changes. So of course, when the page is in edit, and I'm not going to go into too much more detail right now, I just want to talk about pages that are in edit mode and pages that needs to be published. When I've made changes, of course you can just save and close it, but it means that the end users won't see those changes yet. They'll only see it once it's published. So I normally tell the people to rather make the changes and publish the page when you're finished. Rather come back to it and make more changes if you have to. So to edit the Euro web part or to add new web parts, and as I said, we will go through more detail on there, is relatively easy um, to the just click there and say add new web parts. Um, change the columns that you want to use. So of course, if uh, if I think at the bottom there, if I wanted to add another web part and I can add there and say, I want this to be a three column um, zone. And in this area, yeah, I'm going to click and add a web part. And this is going to be an image web part. And you can then put an image in there or um, in this side. I want to add text um, to this web part. And, uh, and this is where I'll actually update the text. So your intranet should be kind of built already, and um, which means you wouldn't be adding a lot of web parts and things. The focus of this would be to actually add the content that shows in those web parts. So please always ensure that your pages are published um, before leaving the page, that you haven't left it in edit mode. And if it says edit, it means that it's um, actually been published already. So uh, we'll catch up soon and there'll be a couple of videos to take you through the basics of editing and updating your cont content on your intranet. So chat soon.